Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you back to Not Betrayed, a series where I open up various TCG products, trying to get the most expensive folder that I can, so if I was a kid, building up their first binder. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be opening up two of these uh, mini tins for Pokemon 151. Now, so these do believe have two booster packs in each of them, as well as a coin. And uh, promo card, so I have uh, four packs in total for this video. Um, so let's crack these open and see what we should get. But before I do so, um, this is a quick recap of last video. I ended up with about $21 worth of value in total, um, mainly from the promo card from the Clara. Um, but then the Cynthia's Ambition and the Battle VIP Pass also gave the value. Um, the Battle VIP Pass is was very surprising. It had about $5 value, so $5 commons is fantastic. Okay, so in each of these tins, you do get a coin. I actually really like the fact that you do get the, um, the typings. However, um, most players, including myself, don't use these for proper play. We much prefer rolling a d6 or just a regular d6 uh, six-sided dice. Do you get these two art pieces? That shows you where they belong in the overall artwork. Uh, these are the only ones that I'm going to be opening, so I won't get the full artwork. But we have four packs here. Let's see if we can get anything good. Oh, that card looks a bit damaged. No? Okay. Now, starting off with, we have a Paris, Voltorb, Krabby, Sandshrew, Kabuto, Gloom, Dugtrio, Porygon, Psyduck, and a Gyarados. Do we get us? And we got a. Cosmic Hollow Energy. That's actually really interesting. Um, I have a feeling this could make it into the folder just because it is a foil energy. Uh, it will just come down to whether or not uh, the app that I use for the videos actually has the energies at this point. point. Um, they are a bit hit and miss getting the energies. Uh, unique Rarities for him up. We have a Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Charmander, Giovanni's Charisma. We got a Grabber. This is actually an interesting card because a lot of people are using it in competitive now, so that might hold some value. We got a Kingla, Nita Queen, Execute, and a Dodrio, and a non hollow energy. Okay, so we've got a Magma Shelter, Bellsprout, Horsey, Nido Queen. We've got a Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Reverse Persian, Mankey Reverse, and a Nido King with a non hollow psychic energy. Last pack here. Let's see if we get anything interesting in here. Um, even if cards don't make it into the not for trade boulder folder, um, they will. Some of these will be making it into my master set collection, so it's good to see. Uh, we've got a Sandshrew here, Seal, Doduo, Tentacool, Lapras, Cycling Road, Scyther, got a Reverse Golbat, and we got a Gold Switch. That is fantastic to see. Oh, we do have something else. And we have the Zapdos EX full art. Can we make this a triple pack? Uh, just the regular energy, but these two in one pack is fantastic. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to get anything too good. Um, now I'm a little disappointed that these are going into the not the trade folder rather than the master set folder um, for the time being. 
And then, luckily, we got the Lightning Energy. So, three semi-decent cards and very yellow. Um, I will say, uh, it is a bit weird pricing. So, maybe a couple of the uh, trainer cards will be good enough. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I'll get to see you again next time. But, until then... Have a good one, folks.